Okay, so... I, I tried again without OBS running, and Karen still got stuck, so, um... I'm going to have to mess with plugins uh, next time I play Disaster Report, or before next time I play Disaster Report, uh, to figure out how Karen cannot get stuck in that spot. Uh, so for now, uh, let's all thank Paper Mario for being so versatile, so diligent, just coming in out of nowhere uh, on such short notice. Uh, <laughs> This is like the third time I've had it fill in for a Saturday stream for some reason, though. For the other streams, it was slightly less disastrous and more planned, but, I mean, I guess to be fair, the game's called Disaster Report, so... Perhaps we shouldn't be that surprised. Anyway, here we go, Paper Mario. <laughs> He's back again this week. <laughs> Look, sometimes... People just have trouble going down ladders. Alright, well then, so last time on the Paper Mario stream, we explored Forever Forest. We were invited here specifically to speak with Lady Bao. And now we have to find our way around a mansion. So let's just go right upstairs. Do, do, do. Gonna waltz right up. I mean, they're expecting me, so... I'd love to. <laughs> I'm afraid you'll have to go find whatever's missing from this frame, idiot. Uh, so devious. <laughs> Alright, well let's take a look at what we've got. We've got a book right here. Can't read it and die immediately. Get jump scared by a boo over here. Gotcha, gotcha. Not over here, though. <laughs> I'm so bored. Uh, I mean, bored. Had to make a pun. Uh, probably the rest of eternity, if I had to guess. And then we died. Oh, I'm glad Mario uh, managed to survive being lit on fire like that, considering he's made of paper. <laughs> Normally paper? Not super good with fire. I think Ray Bradbury wrote a whole book on that one. <laughs> that's, that's the entire story. It's just a warning against how hot a uh, uh, paper can take before it burns. Alright, so let's see. I want to sit on this off-colored couch seat. So that's secretly a spring that opens the door over there. I get some real loud cars going by on the highway, I guess. But unfortunately, once we let go, it just closes immediately, so... Nothing to do there. Still can't read. Let's see, hmm. Don't know what this is about, but can't do anything about it. Oop. Oh. Don't look at me, Gumbario. Don't look at me, not like this. Not like this. <laughs> Gumbario, stop looking at me with those eyes. Oh, thank goodness we're back to normal. Alright, so let's see. Question is, what do I have to do here? Let's see, the whole thing about this mansion is that basically it's just all one big string of puzzles, so... Once you figure out where to start, you can kind of just unravel everything. Man, I love being in this rocking chair. It rocks. <laughs> Didn't really take Umbario as the uh, rocking chair type. 
So let's see, what do we have to do around here? Hmm. What about you, other portrait? What's your deal? Nothing? There's not much to start with here. Oh, okay, so... There's just a brief jump scare, but now I can come in. <laughs> I was like, where do I start if it's not any of this? Whoop! Rip. Either this lady bow is trying to kill me, or this place really isn't OSHA compliance. And thanks for helping back there, Gumbario. Kumbario had foresight, but he didn't actually help Mario. Let's see, where are you tossing it? Alright, so just gotta watch the boo. Oh, I saw that. I see you dropping that. Okay, I can't really read your words right now because I'm just paying attention to the boo that has the thing. And he is right here. Got him. <laughs> boo hoo. At least I got a pun first. I mean, look, I get she likes pranks, but they made fun of me before they left. I get the booze like pranks, but come on, this is just very poor. Uh, what's the word? The word is, I feel like I need to sneeze. <laughs> oh no. Hosting, God. I forgot that word for ages. Anyway, time to play some music. <laughs> Tap A to play the record. You've gotta have rhythm. If you don't have rhythm, well, this is where you can't play the game anymore. Thankfully, there's a meter. Alright, so this seems like you're sufficiently distracted. Oh, nope, nope. Uh, mm. Nope, faster, faster, faster. Got him. Couldn't stop me. <laughs> Even though I was incredibly stoppable. Ghosts don't die! But can you figure out our puzzle... Uh, live? Can't really repurpose that quote like that. Doesn't work at all. Alright, so... If I remember correctly, once we get to the bottom here, it'll just offer to, uh... Do this, right? Yep. At the very end... It asks you if you want to use the weight, so you can just keep that bookcase out of the way. Alright, so, uh, what could be in this chest? Oh my god! 
Oh, jeez, that was potentially dangerous. Alright, well, let's not open that again, because, whew. <laughs> made my heart race, jeez. So, let's see, where to go, where to go? Well, there's a door over there. There's another panel I can't do anything about. I want to leave- oh. Oh no, the door just left. Oh no, the word- the door went on vacation. Well, thankfully in here we get... More booze. You didn't think you'd get this easily, did you? Mario! Do you want new boots? I bet you do! Thankfully they throw to one another, because I actually don't think I really picked up who got the, uh, thing initially. Okay. Got my eyes on Boo. Got him. And we get the Super Boots, which means Mario's jump power is now better. I'm sorry your time in the sun was so short-lived, Hammer, but, uh, now jumps are real good. And now you can do the spin jump by pressing A again while in the air. <laughs> well, it's not like he knows how to use boots. Anytime anybody says that anymore, I just think of that one cyanide and happiness short. Oh man, my boss is gonna flip when he sees this. Our profits are up! And then he just does a f the fucking most stoic flip you've ever seen. Alright, so this is actually where we get introduced to star panel, or like panels with star pieces in them. Which I found immediately, holy shit, I didn't mean to do that. You can kind of see them from a distance. But your aim has to be not exactly precise, but they're a little finicky. Oh, hello, how's it going? Okay, what about Goombario, though? Check and mate. Alright, well, Lady Bao is continuing to haze us, which I don't know if I appreciate. <laughs> Actually, on second thought, I do appreciate that. That was pretty funny. It was a good bit, Lady Bao, I'll admit it. I'm gonna be doing this everywhere, aren't I? Which I don't think it's in here. Alright, so now that we have the spin jump, we can progress in that other room. So, uh, let's see. Let's go back upstairs. And Ooh, there's a treasure chest up there. How did I miss that one? Alright, well, let's uh, just go get that real quick. And, uh, oh, oh, let's slip by it. There we go. Oh, good God! Oh, don't scare me like that. Jeez, Lady Bao, you're so rude. <laughs> Trying to give Mario a heart attack. <laughs> and it's a working. I'm dying here. Alright, let's explore the top of the bookshelves first. Oh! <laughs> that thing's adorable. Boo's portrait. Bomb bet's useful over there. All 
Alright, been a hot minute since I've actually blown anything up with bomb bets, so... Sorry about your interior, Lady Bao, but to be fair, you've been pretty rude so far, so I don't know if I care that much. Oh, we're back here. Okay, cool, so... We'll just go right back up this... Ooh! Treasure chest! Hold... Nope, don't stop your butt, Mario. We gotta get that treasure. And, uh, let's see what's in... Oh, God! You really gotta stop closing the treasure chest. I can't stand this. Look, you're taking advantage of the fact that I have to open it every time. <laughs> Please just leave it closed. You're being so mean. Alright, hey portrait. Have a portrait. Wow, I feel like I exist again. Have you ever not existed, Mario? It sucks. I don't like it. Oh, I know how this works. Okay, don't worry. Mario's had plenty of practice with this one. Let's see. Well, I mean, I could use the first door I come across, but that's for nerds. And I don't think Lady Bao wants uh, a nerd talking to her. <laughs> I feel like I made pretty good time. Look, I just got stuck because one of the doors was just a jump scare boo and I thought I couldn't go in for a bit, but I was wrong. The toughest test of all is just the fact that you keep closing the chest. That's so mean. Why would you do that to me? I'm Bootler the Butler. Already know me. I need a favor. But I'm gonna have my butler tell you about it. I would just like to float here in comfort for a bit. I don't in the slightest. I can see how you might not like that. Seems very personal. I heard he's a little invincible. That seems bad. Yeah, nobody's really giving me new information here. Well, I mean, yeah, I have to do that in order to get the Star Spirit, so... Look, I was gonna fight him anyway, don't you worry. Ooh, what do we get? Even better boots? Oh, you just kidnapped the Star Spirit. Yeah, so he's the star spirit who actually got away. <laughs> but then the booze got him. Alright, so... Now, technically, we wouldn't need to defeat Tubba Blubba. Except... Now Lady Bao has him. N now she's got him. <laughs> I don't know what to say, either. Well... Yeah, but I could have just, you know, saved the, the star spirit and helped the entire planet, but okay, sure, I guess I can do this. I mean, you really just set the uh, circumstances back to square one, huh? You just really kind of squared it all up. <laughs> it's just a complete wash at this point. <laughs> you cannot! You'll die! I'm already dead. You'll die a second time!
<laughs> Alright, two new partners, hell yeah. Bow and Bootler. Oh, or maybe not, I guess. I feel like you should involve Bootler in your attacks, personally, but sure. Alright, so... Our new party member is also... Kind of a jerk. <laughs> this time around, it's our partner character who has kidnapped the star spirit. <laughs> Bao has joined the party, like it or not. I mean, it's Bao, so you probably like it. <laughs> Alright, so probably the most actually important uh, character so far. I mean, she's got a mansion, and she seems to have some power in Boo society? I feel like she's high society. <laughs> if not through money, then through attitude. I mean, she is a ghost. What does she need money for? So yeah, Boo, that is a very fun character. <laughs> yes, in personality. Because you have that. Uh, she can also do this. But she's also an interesting character in that she is pretty high damage and can also attack a lot of different enemies uh, because she floats so she can attack floating enemies uh, and therefore she's got pretty good versatility overall. However, there is one problem with her uh, and that's the fact that uh, she does not actually pierce defense whatsoever. Uh, if any enemy has defense at all, uh, she's just screwed. Uh, she can't really do anything. Uh, out of sight does mean that you can dodge attacks, but that's just about it. Uh, that being said, her slap attack is a multi-hit attack, so while she's not good against armored enemies, uh, she is able to just do a lot of damage to anything else, so... Versatile up to a point. Anyway, I have a letter for one of you, but I don't remember who. Okay, cool, this is Frankie. <laughs> so yeah, like I was saying, Bao is sort of almost important compared to the rest of the characters. But also, she still managed to, manages to be out there because she is just high society, but she's a high society ghost. Living in the middle of the spooky woods. Where she and the rest of the ghosts just really love playing pranks on people. <laughs> That's very vague, Frankie. I won't ask any further questions. A toad child in toad town named Dainty. Always seems to be playing by the station. Okay. Near the train station. Well, now that we have Lady Bow and Toe, I might actually be... Uh, going back to town at this point. Uh, in addition, yeah, we can now use the, the uh, shop. I'm not going to... Ooh, treasure chest. Oh god, why? Should probably have Lady Bow out so she can, uh taunt me when I use that, when I do that. I don't think she actually does that, but she should. Uh, anyway, a note about the, uh, shop in this store, or the mansion, rather. Uh, all shops in the game, I believe, have, like, different selling values. Some buy things for more coins than others. Uh, I note that here instead of anywhere else in the game because I distinctly remember that mistakes actually sell for, like, better than they do anywhere else. Uh, it's like five coins, which isn't great, but like, considering mistakes don't really do anything and you get like one coin for them from other shops, it's not bad. If you ever wind up messing up a recipe, you should just come here to sell it. And just, you know, turn a little bit of a profit. Alright, so, 
instead of going that way, which is the way forward, uh, I actually want to go back. There's a few things I can do in town now that I can do this. Including something that I don't know if I can do it now or if I have to wait until but uh, after this chapter. I'm kind of hoping it's a thing I can pick up now because it's insanely useful. There's also that that happens, uh, the moment you leave, uh, the Booze Mansion after recruiting Lady Bao. And you probably know him by theme, it's Junior Troopa. <laughs> oh, Mario, a living being, thank god, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, you're doomed, Mario. <laughs> I love that Gumbar is just kind of a dick. <laughs> Why, it's Junior Troopa. Have you been crying? Did you get lost in there? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Junior Troopa was just apparently a bully in his neighborhood, so... There's a little bit of Shodan fraud here. Alright, so we've got another Junior Troopa battle. <laughs> Check this out! More power! I've got wings! Oh, I'm quite terrified of him. Please tell me about him before I wet myself, Goombario. <laughs> it's Junior Troopa! I can't get enough of this guy! <laughs> Holy shit! Goombario is vicious! Alright, attack power 5, defense power 1, which means, unfortunately, uh, this is a terrible place to show off Lady Bao. So if you didn't upgrade Goombario, this could be a difficult fight, because otherwise your option is paracarry. It's not a lot of options. Let's see, can I shrink you? I can fuck up. <laughs> I can also defend, and you were so weakened that that just didn't do any damage. What about, uh, sleeping? Can I make you sleep? No. I kinda figured that would be the case, but fair enough. Alright, now I'm gonna have Goombario charge. Charge up a powerful attack, Goombario. Okay, see, now he does three damage on a defense, so... He's not necessarily messing around. Boy, the lag is real bad right now. <laughs> Alright, charge again, Goombario. You got this. Hopefully this is apparently a very easy attack to negate, or defend, rather. <laughs> I can only negate it right now. Uh, I'm gonna jump on him again. That's five whole damage, that's pretty good. Let's do another charge, and hopefully lag doesn't screw me over, because the stuttering is, um, not my friend. Not my friend in the slightest, alright. Alright, good, that worked. Alright, let's charge again. <gasps> Just become incredibly powerful, Goombario. Alright, so I can take a few shots. I cannot do any more special attacks. <laughs> also, it is thanks to the, um new boots that I'm doing any damage to, uh, Junior Trooper- <laughs> Junior Troopa at all, because, of course, he does have defense, so if you were thinking, boy, these new shoes just don't seem powerful, uh, do recall, Junior Troopa is very strong by design. Alright, uh, let's jump on him and mess up. 
Okay. Please. OBS, don't, don't ruin this one for me. Fuck, you ruined it for me. <laughs> God damn it. Ugh. I could have done 22 whole ass damage there. Alright, I've got a refresh there. I will not survive if I don't. <laughs> it's fine, I don't need to use other resources, but ugh. I'm so mad that the stuttering got to me. I could have done 22 damage with a Goombario. I mean, to be fair... That did kind of... Really set the tone of the rest of the fight. Because I've got another refresh in my pocket if I need it. I'm gonna take a chance, though. I think I accidentally did the, uh, power jump. Oh well, whatever. Gumbario, finish it off. Alright, come on. Double EXP, double EXP. Hell yeah! Nice, 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 nice. So that's 42 EXP, huh? Already halfway to a level up. Thank you, Merly. Alright, and that takes care of that. I did that fight a little bit early, but it's fine. Let's see. Is this the entrance? Nope, don't want to fight right now. Alright, so as long as I take the wrong path... ...then I'll go right back to Toad Town. There we go, that should be the sign that says, Hey, you're in Forever Forest, which means we can escape through here. <laughs> I made it out of the forest, I could kiss the ground! Yahoo! There he goes. Well, I'm glad he's doing alright. I could have done 22 damage to him. <sighs> it's not your fault, Goombario. Don't worry, I don't blame you for that one. Alright, so first off, let's go deliver this letter. But that is not the only thing I came here for. Are you dainty? Alright, here we go, kid! A ghost asked me to give this to you. I don't ask questions, I'm just a mailman. <laughs> oh boy, an invitation to a haunted mansion! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, but to be fair, if there were invitations to an actually haunted mansion, children would be all about this. <laughs> oh boy, we get to see ghosts. <laughs> this is also horrifying, and I don't want to go, but I do want to go, though. Because ghosts, but also I'm terrified. Alright, well, <laughs> let's send him back this... <laughs> send a letter back to him and tell him about the scary adventure we're gonna have. Alright, well, apparently we're gonna go to Yoshi Village at some point. We don't have any way to access that, so... Uh, that's a dead end for now. And I'm kind of glad I don't have to worry about the letter trading side quest for a hot minute. I should probably also go to the Toad House to heal. Uh, I want to check something, but I don't remember where it's st- <gasps> it I, I can do it. I can do- I can do the thing. I can do the thing. I can do the thing. Hell yeah. Merlin, hello. What fortunate timing. Please tell me about this dream that I already know you're having. This voice is heavenly. Yes, yes. If you keep going around and around the red palm dream in the distant desert town. Something good will happen. Don't worry, Merlin. I will put your fears at rest. 
Certainly not for any selfish reasons. Definitely not what are you talking about. Certainly I'm not here for a very particular reason, and I'm definitely not looking forward to whatever I get from this. In fact, the main thing I was coming back here for, which was going back to Mario's house, uh, that can play second. Uh, I immediately need to go to, uh, Dry Dry Outpost. Stream's almost over, it's almost 11, but I am doing this thing first. You can't convince me otherwise. There is more stuff to do in the sewer, hopefully including unlocking a, uh, shortcut to Boo's Mansion, because I don't want to go through Forever Forest again, but... I need to do the thing here. Gotta do the thing here. This is Koopa Village. I'm being silly. <laughs> that was incorrect. <laughs> dry Dry Outpost is the third place you go to, not the second. Let's see, I believe the red palm tree is... Okay. So if we go around and around this red palm tree, we get very dizzy. Uh, hey, can I talk to you real quick? You doing all right, buddy? What exactly are you doing walking around that tree? You're making me dizzy. What? You're joking. You believe some crazy dream? Well, okay, I guess. I mean, I got a message in a dream a long time ago, but it didn't mean anything. It said, there's a house with a whirling roof in a large town near a castle. If you spin jump three times inside the house, something good should happen to you. <laughs> a house with a whirling roof. As if that existed. Ha! I don't take dreams seriously. Anyway, bye. Time to never talk to you again. Alright, so... So, 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 so. You've probably already figured out that this dream is work is uh, leading us back to the first dreamy. And apparently Windows is doing a thing. I see that mouse cursor being weird. Okay, so. In this house, don't we love it now? We're gonna do three of these jumps. It's weird that this is called a spin jump, considering there's a thing that's actually called spin jump in other Mario games. It's more of a spin jump, this is more of a ground pound. Anyway, a badge fell from the ceiling. Oh, this badge is quick change! I had no idea such a useful badge was in my attic. Well, you could have given it to me sooner. Oh, I know how lucky I am. Yeah, absolutely. No kidding. So, the Quick Change Badge. You've probably already figured out what this does based on the name, but in case you didn't, in case you want to know what gets quickly changed, it's party members! So yes, you can now change party members mid-battle and have them act immediately. This is one of the most game-changing badges in, well, the game. All right, where's quick change? Give it to me, I need it. I need this. Okay, so quick change is four BP. Uh, that is a very thirsty badge. Uh, that's, a, that's a lot of BP to use. So let's see, what do I want to get rid of? I mean, I have been wanting to do Danger Mario, so you know what, screw it. HP plus, I'm getting rid of that one. And I don't really need Power Smash, considering my jump is better now. I'll keep Quick Hammer just in case, but otherwise, meh. Alright, and with this, Quick Change is mine. So yeah, absolutely. One of the best badges in the game, because this just straight up takes a mechanic and says, Nah. Nah, you don't have to worry about that anymore. Like, genuinely, I think this actually makes the game better, <laughs> that you can do this. Did I, did I ever get a uh, letter for Rusty? I feel like somebody mentioned Rusty at some point for some reason. But I guess not. Okay. 
But yeah, no, I understand why that's a mechanic normally, but like... I'm actually pretty glad that I have this now. As I have said many times, uh... Just, turn economy in this game is so important. And having the ability to just say, Oh, I would like to not use this character right now. Here's someone else is so good. Like, now I can have Goombario at the start of a fight and not feel like I'm wasting a lot of time by switching him out afterwards. It's now painless. It's so much better. Uh, so let's see, where is Luigi anyway? Well, perhaps he's... Under the floorboards! I found you. <laughs> He's right behind me, isn't he? Oh, sweet Christ! <laughs> nope! <laughs> Getting out of here! <laughs> Fuck this shit, I'm out! Alright, so, Luigi has run off. Oh, I completely forgot we actually get letters for Mario. I should have been reading these before. So let's see, we've got a letter from Little T. <laughs> He's just a little toad! It's his birthday! I've been in training at the dojo so I can save Princess Peach. I'll write to you again later. If my disease lets me. Let's see. Vanity. Chuck Quizmo, not pictured here. Ah, uh, yep, they absolutely are. I probably won't do that, but thanks for the offering. Anyway, who are the Cooper Bros? <laughs> well, they look like dorks, whoever they are. <laughs> What's going on with the guy at the top? <laughs> also, I do... I do adore rat as an insult. You rat, Mario! How dare you embarrass us! I'll never forget what you did! Watch your back when you walk at night. I'm gonna make you cry! <laughs> yep, that's the face of somebody who's gonna make me cry right there. That guy right there. <laughs> you better sleep with one eye open, pal, or you're gonna be seeing this! I love off-model Koopa Bros so much. They, they just look so weird. Red looks the most normal, and he's still just... off. Anyway, what's the old One Punch Man line? These people have too much time on their hands. <laughs> Some people have too much free time. Alright, well, we got a letter from some weirdos, but what about the Koopa Troopas? I want to know about these guys. See, <laughs> these guys are off-model but friendly. <laughs> Dear Mario, please come to the village. We have baked a cake for you. Signed, the Koopa Troopas. <laughs> That's a hell of a thing to have to ask your parents. <laughs> have you been threatened? <laughs> Who told you that? Oh, you know, the Koopa Bros. Don't know who these Koopa Bros are, but they sound like trouble. <laughs> oh, hey, Luigi, how's it going? You uh, doing alright? <laughs> Nothing suspicious in the basement, was there? Absolutely nothing. You'll never know. <laughs> Alright, well... Unfortunately, tis 11 o'clock, which means it is time for the stream to end. Alright, well then, uh, I am of course sad that, uh, Disaster Report stopped very suddenly. Um, I'm hoping I can figure that out, because... Again, no one else has said anything about that, which either means I'm doing something wrong, or literally nobody on the planet has had that problem. Or, alternatively, but also bad, uh, everybody technically has that problem, but nobody actually got far enough to actually note that it's a problem. <laughs> Which is the same as everybody else, like, getting through it without getting that glitch. Uh, but then me having it for some reason, it, 
in the end, it winds up being the exact same thing to me, so I don't care any, any which way. That being said, though, Paper Mario came in, and I'm glad to be playing this at least. <laughs> Thankfully, Paper Mario's here for me. Uh, but for the time being, we're gonna be taking a break. So, uh, if you want to catch more, hopefully, Disaster Report, because, again, I don't want it to end that suddenly, but if I can't figure it out, then, um, I will have to put it off until emulation improves, I guess. Uh, so hopefully, fingers crossed, more Disaster Report next week, uh, 9 to 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, will Karen be able to get down that ladder? Who knows? I'm hoping the answer is yes. Please let the answer be yes. Uh, as for other streams, uh, Style Savvy Fashion Forward is Tuesday, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm getting down towards the end of that one, I think, because there's an antagonist, which is a wild thing to say in a fashion game, but, you know, somebody is t trying to, uh, put a stop to the fashion show, so we have to put a stop to them and their lack of style. We're not gonna kill her, we just have to show her the error of her ways of not caring about fashion at all. Uh, and then Paper Mario's actual slot is next Thursday, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, Lady Bao did not really get much time to shine after her very good intro. She has perhaps one of the strongest characters in the game. Uh, I feel like that's self-evident from her intro, but, um... She is literally unusable for the Junior Troopa fight because, again, she can't pierce defense. And in fact, if I remember correctly, there are actually enemies with defense in the next area. So, like, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, even if we go down that way, um, we can still hit something that Lady Bao can fight. Or can't fight, rather. Uh, but, because I have the Quick Change Badge, uh, that's less of an issue now, which is good. Not to say that Lady Bao won't have her uses in that area, because she will, but that's... That's for us to worry about later. Anyway, though, uh, that's it for streams. Uh, as for LPs, uh, you can find those on Fefner Masamune on YouTube. Uh, the VODs are also there. But you can find uh, Mega Man X3 on Monday, Sonic Adventure 2 on Wednesday, and sometimes Fire Emblem Echoes is on Friday. Will it be this Friday? Uh, as per usual, it's a shrug. I might, even if I finish, I might actually just upload the Paper Mario VOD Friday and just give myself a, a week to, to breathe, I guess. Plus, I've got a uh, haircutting appointment on Tuesday, and also I think next week's my epilating day too, so I'm going to have significantly less hair uh, come next Tuesday, probably, so... Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, epilating day. <laughs> Certainly uh, my favorite day, and not all the days around it instead, or after it. Days before suck. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Rest of the plugs. If you want to support me, you can do so through Patreon or Coffee. Uh, I'm Fepcron on both those sites, and you can find the links easily enough in the Twitch bio, or the YouTube banner, or underneath the YouTube videos. There we go. There's plugs. And now we can all go. I don't really have anything to say at the end of this. I'm, I'm still just sad that Karen just could not figure out that last ladder. Some say she's still just sort of breakdancing in front of it to this very day. Have a good night, y'all.